Hello everyone, Sigmalator here, and we are back with an update on the Resident Evil 3 Remake. An interview in PlayStation Magazine has given some new details into what we can expect to see in the new remake, and what we won't be seeing. So, with that said, let's get right into it. You shouldn't expect an exploration of Raccoon City like in an open world game, but there will be plenty of exploration in many areas of the city. This is pretty much what I was hoping for, more room to explore but not an open world experience. More time spent on the streets and being in the chaos of the outbreak is what I'm really looking forward to seeing the most. Resident Evil 2 was obviously after the whole uh, outbreak went down, so it, was, it quieted down a bit. I still kind of wish um, that there was more going on in Resident Evil 2 to make it feel still feel like that the city was under siege and overrun but I think it, it seems like that's the experience they were saving for Resident Evil 3 so I'm really really excited about that. Nemesis will use an improved version of the AI developed for the tyrant of Resident Evil 2 remake. Right, I'm guessing this means the Nemesis is going to be a constant threat throughout the game. Your encounters with him won't be scripted too much and possibly he won't e he won't even appear in the same place twice in multiple playthroughs. Or it could be his expanded arsenal will mean he can attack from a distance, which means your only option is the only option you have is to either run rather than fight. This is pure speculation on my part, but we'll probably get more info on this improved AI closer to the release. Sound will be very important in a city like Raccoon City. You'll have to rely on it to anticipate dangers lying in wait around the corner. This sounds awesome. Resident Evil 3 is a lot more action focused than RE2, but this makes me think uh, they're going to balance that out by focusing on the sound to keep you on edge. I imagine different enemies will have little audible tells that will let the, that will let the player know that a certain enemy is nearby, like the hunters will have their own unique noises obviously. Don't know if the brain suckers are making a return or not, but they had their own unique sounds and you could you could hear them moving around in the original. So I imagine they're really gonna be amping that aspect up. So instead of fixed camera angles to try and hide the enemies from us, we have to listen to them. I like that. Confirmation that we will visit the streets, the shops, the Stagler petrol station, the Raccoon Press offices, and the hospital. This is awesome. We will be visiting. Uh, we will be visiting the key areas from the original game, but I'm expecting there'll be a lot more to do in those areas than previously. However, going back to the petrol station tells me the fetch quest to get the cable car going is also going to return, but I imagine it will be rejigged to either make it harder or make it slightly easier. Since um, we'll be allowed to explore larger portions of the city, I'm imagining backtracking will still play a heavy role in Resident Evil 3. So I'm expecting either the cable car, well it's a train now instead of a cable car I think, but we'll still have to go out and find different pieces to get it running like fuses, cables, oil. I imagine that's all still in play but maybe altered slightly. Nemesis was created in real life to be able to be scanned via votogrammetry. Mercenaries mode will not return. I really hope they mean they made a model and scanned that and didn't actually create a real life Nemesis. That, that's bad PR Capcom, you don't want to mess around with genetics and bioweapons. But I really want to see this model. Is it life sized or is it a scaled down version that they just blew up? made larger in game. I'm hoping we'll get some behind the scenes videos like with the Resident Evil 2 remake because I want to see what this real life nemesis looks like. Uh, the biggest disappointment for me reading this is the fact they've ditched the mercenaries mini game. That for me Resident Evil 3 had, it had the first and the best mercenary side game. It was brilliant. You made your way through Raccoon City you save civilians to earn money to buy the bonus weapons like the infinite machine gun, Gatling gun, rocket launcher, or, and you could also buy infinite ammo for all weapons. I hope that's still the case, but you know, it'll be unlockable in game now rather than having to buy it. 
The idea of having infinite ammo for all weapons, I love that because I love the Magnum. It's my favourite weapon in all of the Resident Evil games, especially against the zombies. One shot, bam, head is gone. That is my favourite way to take, that, take out the zombies. While losing mercenaries is a huge letdown, uh, it's not out of the question that it might be added in later as DLC. Uh, that might be pure blind optimism on my part, but hey, I can dream. If mercenaries is gone, I'm sure resistance will keep us entertained for a while. I played the beta. I did actually quite enjoy it, even though I'm not a fan of online multiplayers. We'll see how it goes. I'll make, I will make some videos on Resistance when it's released. The Mutant Worms will be back. Yes, the Graboids, I mean Gravediggers, are back. I'm not sure if they mean the boss battle in the graveyard will be in the game or even if the giant Gravedigger is in the game. It could be that they're just talking about those little baby worms, but I really hope the giant worm is back too. If they could bring back a giant alligator, I don't imagine a giant worm would be that hard to bring back either. Carlos will be playable. We all knew he would be, but the question is how playable? Will he have his own campaign, or do we just get more opportunities to play as Carlos through Jill's campaign? See, we know we go to the hospital, and in the original game that was the Carlos section. I imagine that will be expanded. Is it just going to be the hospital again, or, like I said, are there more opportunities to play as Carlos? We know the next trailer is going to focus more on Carlos and Nemesis. I'll, be, I'll have another bash at a trailer breakdown when that comes out. So hopefully we'll get some hint of some kind of just how much Carlos will be playable. There will not be the action choice mechanism as in the original, which could give different sequences of the game afterwards or an advantage over danger. I was expecting this to be the case, but it's still a bit disappointing. I get why they ditched it. They want us to simply, they don't They don't want us to avoid contact with the Nemesis. Essentially, they want us to have a challenge. They want Nemesis to be a constant threat. And while the, uh, the choice mechanism in the original was pretty cool, it was essentially a get out of jail card so you could avoid fighting Nemesis. So in a way, I'm kind of glad they've taken it out because now that choice is gone. You are going to have to face Nemesis, regardless. You could probably, you could probably still run away from him. Uh, let's say, for example, if Brad still dies in the same way in the remake that, as he did in the original, you could you could just run into the RPD anyway after grabbing Brad's card. So it doesn't really matter that the choice is taken away because the option is still there, but it depends on how they've worked it. I'm not expecting Brad to die the same way he died in the original. There will also be no more endings. It will therefore be interesting to know who will fly the helicopter at the end of the game and whether Nikolai will survive or not. So like with the Resident Evil 2 remake, they've streamlined the story to give a single canon story. Which makes sense, in a way. In Resident Evil 2, it didn't really work because of the A-B uh, scenarios. Making a single streamlined story ending really messed that up. In Resident Evil 3, it kind of makes sense because in the original game, you only there was only one campaign. You played as Jill, you briefly play as Carlos, but you, may you only followed Jill throughout the entirety of the game. So if there's only one ending in this, I'm... That says to me that Carlos doesn't have an, his own campaign. He only has his own playable sections. Which is a bit disappointing. I was kind of hoping for Carlos to have his own campaign. But it makes sense that he, that he doesn't. This is pure speculation on my part. They may It may turn out he does have a campaign. We don't know. We'll find out later down the line. But yeah, while it's disappointing, it does make sense because the multiple endings in Resident Evil 3, um, well, there was only two, and it was essentially the same ending. The only difference is you either had you either had Barry flying the helicopter, or you had Carlos flying the helicopter. The ending was always the same, so it makes sense not to have multiple endings. But at the same time, 
having multiple endings added so much replayability to the old school Resident Evil games. I mean, the original Resident Evil, the first one, had eight endings, four for each character. You had Jill, Jill Barry, Jill Chris, Jill Barry Chris, or you had Chris, Chris Rebecca, Chris Jill, Chris Rebecca Jill. And some of those endings had either the mansion blowing up or not blowing up. So it, it, it kept things interesting. You, you had to replay the game so many different times, making sure you met certain criteria to get all those different endings. So yeah, in that respect, it is disappointing. But if the game is, is as fun to play as I, as I believe it will be, it's not going to matter. For those who like online multiplayer, I'm sure Resistance will probably make up a bulk of the replayability for you anyway. Whereas gamers like myself, the single campaign, if it's as good as I think it's going to be, that will be more than enough. Well, that's all we have for now. Some exciting news, some disappointing news. I'm still excited for Resident Evil 3, but let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.